What's Dr. Simonson do? She orders another thousand cc's of normal saline fluid, which is another leaf. Oh, we get the last half of this one. And bear in mind, we got fluid coming in the whole time too with an IV line. Here's more. And you see, it's just running out into the third spaces the whole time. And we've already got a lady who's got three plus pitting a demon. And it's not going to do anything but get worse if you keep adding fluid to it. You're not helping the situation. What do you do when somebody has that much fluid? You give them a diuretic. You give them a drug called Lasix. It helps them make urine. You get their blood pressure under control, which helps them make urine. And then sooner or later, they diurese. They get the, that they just go to the bathroom until they get rid of the fluid. That's what happens if you treat it right. If you don't treat it right, you subject them to the risk of death and brain injury and that kind of thing. But you got to know what's, what, what's going on with your patient in order to do something about it, because knowledge is power. If you don't have knowledge, you are weak in what you're doing. And so you got to look at the eyes and nose when you come to evaluate the patient to see what the fluid balance status is. If you don't do that, you are falling beneath the standard of care and you're subjecting your patient to great harm. Okay. Now, what does she do? She orders another 1,000 cc. So I just put 500 in. Let's put the other 500 in. Now, where are we now? At this point, we've got a lady who's making no urine, un unloading no fluid. Her fluid balance started out at a, over 3,500 cc's plus, and we put in a, at least another 1,500 cc's. So we've got her up to 5,000 cc's. That's five liters overloaded. That's more than a gallon. That's more than that gallon bucket right there, overloading the fluid. Dr. Simonson failed to adequately brief Dr. Angus about Shannon's fluid overload and uncontrolled high blood pressures when he came in. Well, he didn't actually come in the next morning. They had this briefing on the telephone. There was about somewhere around 10 patients in, in the labor and delivery unit up there that Dr. Uh, that Dr. Angus took over care for uh, that morning at 8 o'clock on the 25th of August. And what doctors are supposed to do is report to the, on, to the incoming doctor about the patient's status and tell them what they need to know in order to take care of the patient because knowledge is power. And if you don't tell them, the, the doctor that's coming on service, what's been going on with the patient while you were taking care of them, then they got to go take the time to dig down the records themselves which is what they ought to do if, if the report is not completely poor. But you ought to make it easy on your relief. Tell them what's going on. Yeah. It's just a matter of failure to communicate at this point. It's a failure of Dr. Dr. Simonson to understand, recognize, and appreciate what's going on with her patient's uncontrolled high blood pressure and her fluid intake. She's creating a situation where she's causing the heart to work harder to move a heavier volume of fluid through her body and the heart's getting tired. 